Today we're going to talk about why trading the bear chart is better and I'm going to show you a few examples. So make sure you stick through the whole video so you don't miss anything. Learning to simplify your trading strategy is going to make everything easier for you to understand. Indicators can make it difficult to see anything. Trying to depend on indicators reminds me of someone who can't see and relies on a seeing eye dog to help them navigate. I know that's a rough comparison, but that's how I feel after years of trying and testing everything. When you're looking at the chart here, you can see we're on the four hour time frame. I've shown you through other videos before similar examples, but what we're trying to do here is we're just trying to pay attention to one candle on how it's reacting to previous structure to make a short term bias on a lower time frame. You can see the one bearish candle here and it's reacting to previous structure. Even though price was trending downwards, you can see that price was interacting here. We're going against the trend on the four hour time frame, but only for a short period of time. We're not targeting a bigger run on this. So when we drop down to the five minute chart, you can see the two lines representing the four hour window. And with this one here, price was doing its pullback like we would expect. And I've mentioned this before on the channel, where if you look at every candle, you'll notice that there's a pullback. Oftentimes, sometimes there isn't, but most of the time there is. You don't know when that's going to happen, but you know there will be a pullback before it closes in its intended direction. We can see price is pulling back already. So there would be some type of wick eventually on this side if price uh, doesn't continue in that direction. So price is coming down and then you can see that there's a change here. You can see how price was coming down, making new lows and then broke above uh, structure here, making a new high and then started pulling back. Now, when this happened, you could look to get in on a trade if price comes up to that area and your stop loss is going to be somewhere below it. What you want to typically do is you want to aim for at least a one to two, but you testing this out, thoroughly testing the strategy out, you can find out what works best for you. So when we go forward with this, at that point, this is where you would have gotten in on the trade. So you would have gotten in right there. Stop loss, yep, just right, right below the low, and you're aiming for a one to two or more. So this is set for a one to three. And when we go through this, there's something I want you to be mindful of as well. So while there's a good chance that things can work out in your favor, there's going to be times that you're going to have to manage your trade. And this is one of the examples. So you can see that 1650 is the time. And where I am at 1700 is when the new trading day starts, the market shuts down. And when that happens, your stop loss is, unless it's far away, it's likely going to get hit because of uh, your spread opening right up. So at that point, you would want to consider closing your trade down. And you can see this was a risk to reward of 1.46. If you would have closed it 10 minutes before, you might even consider closing it before that. Some people like to shut things down a half an hour before or an hour before. It's entirely up to you. When you decide to remove everything from your chart, you get a clearer view of what's going on. You can make your own trading decisions based on what you see happening in the market. This can help you read charts better. Learn to develop your own trading style and strategy. Thoroughly test it and give yourself the confidence you need. Once you figure it out, it will change how you see the market. Now let's take a look at another example. Okay, so what you're seeing here is another area where a four hour candle is reacting to previous structure, which is this bullish candle reacting to this area here, respecting it. And that means that we'd be looking for a trade in a bearish direction, which would also be in line with the four hour trend. Now, when we go down to five minute chart okay you can see the two blue lines representing the four hour time frame on the five minute chart here and we're looking for an opportunity to get in on a trade in a bearish direction price is moving along doing a pullback like we would expect it to you can see 
creating new structure highs. Now price is starting to come back. And at this point, you can see that well, price was almost tested. It's closed below now. So now it's giving me a clue that price may change direction. It's continuing down. Price does a pullback. And at this point, I'm already looking for a short position. So if price comes back down to this area, I'm going to get in on the trade. Price is triggered. Your stop loss is just going to be above and you're aiming for a one to two. And we'll see how this plays out. So price does come back. It just hits it right here. But you can see how powerful this is. All you're doing is developing a bias from looking at the four hour time frame on how it's reacting to previous structure. That's it. And then you're looking for a trading opportunity on the five minute chart. You can also do this on the one minute chart. Stick to the same set of rules and see if this works for you. Learn to develop your own trading style and strategy. Thoroughly test this to give yourself the confidence you need. Once you figure this out, it will change how you see the market. All you need is a little time and patience. When you don't have to rely on indicators or other people's opinions, it can give you the shift to your trading strategy that you've been looking for. Make your own trading decisions based on what you see happening in the market. Thank you to all of you that have shown your support to this channel, and I wish you lots of success moving forward. And until next time, bye for now.